Stick around and we'll get right to it. Got another quick one for you guys today. What we want to do today is see if we can get our grid showing up in Conky. It's one of those things that didn't get implemented into uh, the first release of 7.3 Linux. It will be coming in a future version, but for those that want to go ahead and solve this issue now, let's take a look at how that's done. First thing I'm going to do is open up the terminal window and I'm just going to type CGPS. And what we want to do here is we want to verify that we do have good GPS data coming into the system already. If you don't have this, you're going to need to solve this issue first before we can possibly get the grid square showing in Conky. Once you have that uh, done and you know that you have good GPS data, we're going to run, uh, tell you what, let me clear that screen. We're going to run cd space uh, bin forward slash Conky. And next, let's go ahead and run the ls command. There's two files here that are not executable by default, and we need to change that. That's going to be the git grid and the grid scripts. So let's make both of those executable by running chmod plus x git hyphen grid and grid. Go ahead and press return. If we run ls again, you will see that both of those are now showing in green indicating that those are executable. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and enable one of those scripts to run automatically in the background. To do that, we're going to use a cron job. So let's run crontab space hyphen E and go ahead and press return. If this is the first time you've tried to edit your uh, crontab, you will be asked which editor you want to use. I like to use nano, but use whichever one you're most comfortable with. So I'll choose one here, and you want to verify that you see this right here in your cron job. Now, your username, mine is KM4ACK, so your username may be different. So you may see forward slash home, forward slash something else, but we just want to verify that these two lines uh, are in your cron. So if you need to enter these, go ahead and do that now. One other thing to note here is you see this forward slash one right here. That tells the system to run this script every 60 seconds in the background. If you're not going to be moving around very much, you could safely set this to update every five or 10 minutes if that's something you prefer. Once you've um, verified that this line is here, let's press Control S to save any changes that we made and then Control X to escape out of that. The last thing that we need to do is modify the Conky configuration file. So I just opened up a file explorer. I'm in the home directory here. I'm going to right click and say show hidden files. Now I should be able to see that .conky RC file. I'm going to right click on it and say open with the text editor. You need to find this line right here that says uh, cat run user 1000 grid info .txt. and all we need to do is remove the pound sign at the front of that line we can now save that and conky will reload so i'll press Control s conky will close and reload and now you can see my grid square in the top right corner so that's how easy it is to get the grid square running in conky if you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.